Uh, our next speaker is uh, uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Professor Kevin Murphy. Uh, relative to me, he's a relative kid. He joined the faculty more than 20 years ago. Uh, I've been around for 54 years, so you've got, you got a ways to go, Kevin, to catch up. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you very much, um, and thank you, Harry, for inviting me. Uh, this is about a passion of mine I've had for a very long time and a, a business of mine that started more recently, which is called Big Rock Woodworks. It's a, it used to be small, now it's maybe not so small adventure in woodworking. Um, it's, I do it together with uh, Sam Blokel, who's uh, a, a friend of the family, really knew my son. He's quite a bit younger than me, even though you say, I'm young, I'm 59, and, and Sam's about 29. So we've been working together for a few years now. And so when Harry asked me to talk, I thought I would try to say, well, geez, how is it related? So what's our approach to woodworking? It, it, it's focused on making wood into furniture. And, and I emphasize the wood because, you, as you'll see when I show you some of the things we do, we really try to start at the beginning. Typically, we start with a log or even a tree, and, and we do all the milling of the wood ourselves. So we have a sawmill, cut down, cut, take the tree, cut it up into lumber, dry the lumber, and then, and, and then try to build furniture from it. And then I thought about, well, why is that like economics? Well, in a lot of ways, it is like economics. It's always solving problems. There are problems everywhere along the way that need to be solved. Like in economics, you need to use the right tools. And, and I'll show you some of the tools we have, and tools are an important part of my job. But the number one thing that I think it has in common with economics, the key in my career in economics has been, and if you look at what I've done, I worked on a wide range of problems. And because the way I approach problems is not by saying, I'm gonna answer this question. I would say, well, what can I do? What, what do I know enough to actually solve? And then work with it from there. And that's kind of what we do with the wood. We, when we take down a tree or we take, cut the wood, we say, geez, this would make a great table, or this would make a great coffee table, or this would make a dresser drawers, or whatever it is. We try to see what's in the wood and go with what the wood tells us we can make. Now, what's a little different about it, it obviously uses some very different skills, a lot more things you have to do with your hands. Um, but also, you're a little more sure of what you have, what you get done. In economics, the thing about academic work is your peers may tell you that's good work, maybe that's right. You never really get to actually grab it and hold it. So let me show you the kinds of things we build. So this is a cherry chest of drawers that we did. And as you can see, it's a real emphasis on the wood. We, we cut down a cherry tree that, actually we didn't cut it down, I should say, a storm knocked it down in my backyard. And we uh, cut down the tree, and then when we milled the lumber, we noticed had this incredibly beautiful crotch wood in it here that we decided to feature in the drawers. And part of making a furniture piece like this is kind of like matching it up. So these are actually you know, very different pieces, but we tried to match them so they look like they fit pretty well together. That's kind of the view. So it's really an emphasis on the wood itself. And although there also is a fair amount of construction that goes into making the actual furniture piece. These are, the, these are this is some detail of the drawers. These are drawer slides. We make all our own slides. Um, things like that. This is a little more detail. You can see kind of the detail on the slides are actually made. Those are made out of Brazilian cherry and, and, and those are maple drawers inside the, um, inside the furniture. Now, so our raw materials, we actually have a sawmill. Uh, it's a bandsaw mill that we use to, to cut the wood. This is an example of some of the raw material. This is actually a walnut slab again from a local tree from the, this is actually somebody told us about the tree they have so this is outside my shop this is in the parking lot of my shop and uh, this is a walnut slab this is when it was just cut actually that day so this wood is actually being drawn right now it's almost ready to use it'll be ready to use probably in another month or two uh, we're going through the final stage of actually drying this wood 
we actually have the whole log. I, I don't have a picture. You can see how when you stack the, the wood from the log, we actually have this whole log. It's, it's about this wide and it's about this tall. We'll probably fold it out and make a very large coffee table out of that of, of butterfly two pieces out of the center of that log. Um, some of the tools we have, this is inside the shop. This is our table saw. Uh, it's a German made saw that we have. That's, uh, that's the inside of the shop from viewed from one angle. Uh, we also make a lot of our own tools. This is, a, this is a glue table that we designed and built. It's actually four feet by eight feet. We use that for making major glue ups that we have to make. It, it really is, uh, I, I think it's a nice design. It, it really has worked very well for us. You can see some of the lumber we have sitting, we have sitting in the back there. Um, that's part of, the, part, of the, part of the process. And you know, our favorite thing is to do what I just said, cut down a tree, look at it, and go, wow, this is what, what we can make. Well, sometimes we get requests to make things. And usually what we have to do when we get to requests to make things is we take all this wood out and lay it all across the floor and we try to find the pieces that'll make it. So we, we need to fit now the wood in, you know, we have to make a particular piece, we have to find the wood that makes it. Uh, a few other projects that we've done over the years, this is a table we did recently, uh, kind of again, combination of cherry and walnut. This is a, uh, a white oak table we made for somebody, it's actually a very, very large table. That table's actually 40, 40, 47 inches across, so you can get an idea of how long that table actually is. It doesn't look nearly as big as it is. Uh, this is a cherry vanity that we made. Again, you can see the emphasis on the wood. This is a crotch table. And this is a walnut table that I'm very fond of. I made this quite a few years ago. It's uh, actually, this is the saw cut from the, from, uh, the chainsaws left on the end and it's all put together. It has a great finish on it. It was done in a high gloss finish that was then sanded down to be incredibly smooth, so. But that's kind of what we do. It's, it's a lot of fun. And what I really like is the ability to take something from the very beginning, that is just from the tree itself, and take it all the way to get the final finished furniture piece. Um, it, really, it really, to me, is exciting to see what you can make out of uh, the wood, but at the end of the day, it's the wood that does the talking. It's the wood that I think makes the pieces really interesting and, and much different than what you would buy at a store. And that's our, that's our goal, is to have something that's unique. The wood shows through, and you can really feel um, fits. Now, how does this also relate? Throughout my academic career, I've worked in a series of partnerships. Gary Becker and I worked together for years. I worked together with, with uh, Bob Topel and just a number of people, always been a partnership. Virtually all the papers I've written in economics have been co-authored. And this is my co-authorship with Sam. And Sam and I are working on this project together. And you know, you really, you really get to know somebody when you work on these kind of projects. We never do anything from plans. Everything is always I. It's always got to get your proportions by looking set it out, set it up, kind of figure out what the proportions are. And you know, and when it comes to furniture, proportion is such an important part of it. Um, anyway, that's, that's my life in furniture, and, and, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Thank you.